Howdy everyone, Mr. Kazi here with another problem of the week and today our question comes from Emma and our question is what do the Roman numerals stand for in the names of ionic compounds and how do they use them or how do you use them when writing the formulas? Really this is kind of a two-part question so let's look at the first part what do the Roman numerals stand for in the names of ionic compounds? The Roman numerals stand for the charge of the metal ion. So in copper 1, you would say Cu plus 1. And you don't need to write the 1, just like you don't write 1s in algebra uh, with the x's or the y's. Or we might look at iron 2 and Fe2 plus. But the thing to remember is that the Roman numerals are used in names to help distinguish between the multiple charges some elements can have. Uh, such as iron, copper, and chromium, just to name a few. Also, magnesium has more than one multiple or more than one charge. In part two, how do you use Roman numerals when writing the formulas? Well, the Roman numeral tells me the charge. So if it tells us the charge, we use it to help us balance the uh, charges in the elements or in the compound. Chromium three tells me that it is Cr3+, plus, that there's a 3 plus charge. Let's practice a couple of problems, go to the magic blackboard, and write the formula for lead 4 oxide. Well, the lead 4 would be Pb4+, plus, and the Roman numeral is the 4 plus. That tells me there's a 4 plus charge. And then oxide, that's oxygen, which naturally has a negative 2 charge but the charges aren't balanced. So we need to get some more oxygen and balance out the charges. Now with two oxygens, two times negative two is negative four. And so then four plus and four negative equals zero and are balanced. So we'll write PbO2. And there we have the formula for lead four oxide. Let's write the formula for another one magnesium 2 plus and hydrogen carbonate which is a polyatomic ion and has a negative one charge. The magnesium is a metal cation and the HCO3 is a polyatomic ion but their charges don't balance. So uh, you need one more HCO3. Now we have two of those and that's going to give us a balance. 2 plus and 2 negative are 0. And that's a balanced charge. And so we have Mg parentheses HCO3 parentheses 2. Because the polyatomic ion is treated as if it's one unit. Now if you're not sure about polyatomic ions or writing formulas or writing names, be sure to go to my YouTube channel and watch some of the videos there. Let's recap. Remember, Roman numerals tell the charge of the metal cation. So lead 2 would mean Pb2+. And by the way, notice I said cation. That's a positive ion. If you have any questions, shoot an email off to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. Check out mrkazi.com, and while you're there, uh, check out the PowerPoint videos and much, much more. Of course, uh, most of all, go to my YouTube channel. The study has shown that it increases your IQ. Happy ions, everyone.